Hello, 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 hello. I think I have this figured out. I'm not positive. If there's anything more annoying in the world, please let me know right now. But this seems to be my annoying thing. I am very, very lousy at working electronics. Um, and I don't know if we have sound yet. I'm just checking. See if we got some sound. We apparently have sound. Yay! So far, so good. Okay. I'm hoping comments will show up as we go. Kind of looks like I'm frozen right now. Am I frozen? Am I, am I? My phone looks like I'm frozen. It says I'm live, but it's looking pretty frozen. Okay, well, we're going to try. Okay, so I think comments might show up. I'm hoping. So if you're there, if anybody's there, just say hi. Let me know that you're watching. Um, if you want to do the little hashtag live, that would be great. If you're watching on the replay, um, hashtag replay will work. Um, and I thank you very, very much for your patience. Now, I think... I think, I think, I think I have the cameras kind of sort of set up. They're not perfect by any means. Um, you'll be able to see the piece that I'm working on and my face. Unfortunately, my face is going to be bigger than what it should be. And because I'm having to use the free one because the other one's just not working for me. And my picture, I've had to move over to the side because I can't resize it. I'm just doing the best I can today. But I really need to get some projects done. I have a craft show coming up. And yeah, anyway. So let's get on with this. Um, today we are working on the There's No Place Like Home. Um, these are Chalk Couture transfers. Oh, by the way, hi. I am the Shabby Chic Vintage Chick, and I'm here in Rideau Lakes, Ontario, Canada. And I am an independent designer for Chalk Couture, and that's what I'm working on right now. So we're going to work on this transfer. We're going to put it on our Chalk Couture board. Let's, Let's see, if, see we if we can move over. over. There, there we go. go. Like, like I, I said, said unfortunately, unfortunately I, it's the best, the best I, can I can do. See if, see if I, I can move it into screen. screen. Um, um, I know, I know it's, it's, it's really, really not, not the best, best picture. But, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's the, the only, only spot, spot that they're going to let me put it. I can move my camera around, but that's not going to help. Um, um, my face is as big as my face is going to be, apparently. And, and yeah, yeah, this is just all I got to work with today. So, so um, as you can see, I have the beautiful Chalk Tour framed board. We've got our transfer. I'm going to roll quickly with this because I have had no luck lately and with electronics and they seem to die on me. Hi, Lori! Um... Yeah, things. Okay, so electronics, yeah, they're just not working for me lately. I don't know if you guys are better at the technical stuff than I am. Somebody definitely out there is because I watch these beautiful videos and, well, I just ain't cutting it right now. Um, but anyways, we're going to try the best we can for now. I can't make money to buy new equipment if I don't get to work and actually make some projects. So, I have wrote on the back of my transfer that it's the back, just so that I know. And then I'm going to take my transfer off. And if you don't know what Chalk Tour transfers are, they are beautiful silk screen transfers. Basically a stencil. Um, however, they are reusable. They come pre-sticky, pre-adhesive. Um, and in the clear spots, it's actually a mesh, silk screen. And the reusable over and over and over again if you per, if you take care of your thing. 
So right at the moment, I am just um, fuzzing it because they come very sticky. And uh, I'd like it to come off easy enough off my board, but have enough stickiness that it stays there too. I'm going to lay my transfer on here. Just excuse my head for the second, just so I can see if I've got it straight. You rub it down, try and get rid of the air bubbles. I have the large uh, squeegee. Let's see if I can show this properly. And I just use that just to get out any bubbles. See, I didn't even notice those ones there, but they're off to the side. They'll be fine. Um, as long as they're not around my actual silk screen area, then I won't get bleed through. But I do have one down there. I just need to work out. The squeegee works quite well to get that out. Just want to make sure you got none down there. There we go. We got them all shoved over to the side. I think we are good to go. Okay. So, I have decided that we're going to do this a very quick pace because, like I said, my electronics like to get out on me midstream. Hey, Christine. I'm finally figuring out how to get my multi screens working. I've been struggling with this for days, as you know. I think I have a hair stuck under here. I'm almost scared to pull it up because I'm afraid my electronics will say, no, you've had enough time. I have a hair or something right there. And I don't want that. I might be stuck with it. I don't want to whip my finger. Taking a, up oh, there we go. A little dog hair in there. Um, if it was just under the the teal colored transfer, I wouldn't have bothered with it. But it was right in the mesh part where I want my where I want my painted here. There we go, we're just making sure we got it all locked down again. And any of your bubbles are just shoved over to the edges. Just fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Alright, we are moving forward here. We are going to start off with the orange peel. Making sure you scrape your edges. I don't know if everybody can see what I'm doing here. And just mixing it till it's a, a yogurt consistency. Now, that's what they all say, but I don't know. Yogurts come in different consistencies. You can get a Greek yogurt. It's a lot thicker than, you know, some of the other yogurts. I think cake mix, cake batter, or um, sour cream maybe. I don't know. But anyways, you get the drift. You want it to be smooth. And kind of drippy. And I think that's perfect. Our little stir sticks fit perfectly under the edge to stir. Great little thing to have. But I really love this tool better. I don't know if you can see it where I should... Where I'm supposed to be the show but... Um, this actually has a multi-tool. It's a squeegee on the one end and a stir sticky part on the other end. Or you could squeegee this way if you're comfortable with that, but I'm not. Anyways, I'm moving on quickly. So, chalk paste from Chalk Couture dries quickly, so I have to move very quickly. Otherwise, I have to lift back and dry. And I don't want to do that today. I just don't want to chance it. So I'm just going to put my... Carrot on there, working on a weird angle, trying to stay in the camera way, and I'm afraid I'm going to mess it up already. Yep, I put orange in the wrong spot. Gotta love that. 
No, that's okay. I can fix that. And then, and then you're scrubbing back all, all your excess and, and putting it back, back into your, your chalk paste container, container to reuse. You don't, don't need a whole lot. Okay, okay so, so because, because I messed up, up I'm going to show you how to peel back, dry, and relay it down. If you're working on big pieces, that's typically what you need to do. So you're just going to pull this back. We'll leave it over like that. that. I'm going to grab a wipe. And, and you can see my little bloopers here on the edge. And I'm going to wipe those away. And I'm going to wipe it away on this side. Just like that. And I'm going to grab my dryer. Hair blower works just as well. I'm trying not to heat up my transfer because it's sticky enough. Just dry up all my wetness that I've done from the baby wipe or the Clorox wipe, whichever you prefer. I'm drying up my carrot nose. And we are good to go. Then we are going to place this back. And I'm going to squeegee them just to make sure I'm not getting any air in there. I think we are good. All right. Well, then I am going to move on to the white. Or should I? Yeah, let's move on to the white. And we're just going to give it a stir. Is everybody having a good day? Are you being crafty? Are you being creative? Are you at least having a good day? I tell you, yesterday was like a bad day for me. This week has been rough. I've had back issues all week, and that's no fun. Um, I've got a little one that actually, um, I don't know if she's going through growing pains, or she's really sick. Or if she just doesn't want to be at school. I'm not sure. She's complained about a lot of aches and pains. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that. Normally she loves school and hates to be at home. So I kind of think it's real, but I don't know. Hello, hello. You're supposed to be lying down if you're sick. Okay, okay, I'll come and make you lunch after. after. I'm on live right now. Okay. I did not know that. Well, well I'll be in. in. That's not... a good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye, Goodbye Miss Maya. Maya. Sometimes, Sometimes I wonder if she just wants to stay at home because she thinks she can craft, craft with me. And that's why today I was like, no, if you're too sick for school, you will stay at home and you will stay in bed. And it's not going to be a fun day of computers or TV or anything like that. You're actually going to be in bed and be sick. And then maybe she won't want to play hooky if it's just playing hooky. And if she's legitimately not feeling well, oops. But any moms out there know sometimes you just don't know. Or at least that's how I feel. And I'm watching my three-year-old grandson. Ah! Fun. Is he a busy little guy? I've got my daughter, who is 27 now, um, moved back home. She moved home in June or July, and she has her hubby with her, and I'm just working my way around that carrot, trying to go carefully. I don't want to mess it up too many times. 
Um, and they're staying with us, saving for a house. And so they have a two-year-old, my grandson, Benjamin, who is cute as a button most days. A um, little bit of a tyrant other days. And, uh, yeah, that's fun. And then, then they have a newborn, newborn baby. baby. He's, He's a month old. Mr. Tobias. So our, our house is, is like, literally, literally crazy. crazy. And we're in the middle of renovations. I don't have a bedroom yet. We were sleeping in the trailer till it got too cold. So now we are on the living room floor. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy around here right now. Oh, he's, oh, he's into everything. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's how Benjamin, Benjamin is here, too. Tons, Tons of fun. fun. Cute as a button, button, but I tell, tell you, you um, grandparent is, grandparenting, sometimes, sometimes it's a lot nicer when you can say, here, I jacked him up with sugar and I'm sending him home. <laughs> Which is what he used to do. You now it's like, like um, does he need that much sugar? Like, like this morning was um, cinnamon buns, and he's like, he wanted a piece. He doesn't need a whole one by any means. But he wanted a piece of cinnamon bun, and so I just put the slightest bit of icing on there, because I'm like, yeah, no. You're already wound. You don't need that extra bit of sugar. That's exciting is going on in your worlds. I think I lost all my comments again. Oh, we're back. Hopefully I didn't lose you guys during that. I am, I gotta tell you, I'm very impressed that my internet is staying on. And this Manny Cam hasn't failed me because it's been hell lately. And I gotta tell you, this angle is really odd to work at. Usually it's like right in front of me and I'm kind of like, and I can't, can't move over my chair because I have too much stuff in my way. Making, Making the best of it. Okay. okay. And, and the back, back isn't that great? So the twisting and maneuvering kind of pinches. Oh, I'm a complainer some days. Feel like I'm getting old. You know how I feel? My son and wife and three kids just moved in with us. <laughs> yeah, isn't that fun? We, we actually gave, gave up our bedroom for them to move in because, because we thought, thought renovations would be done by now. Not. So, so yeah. yeah, it's fun. Good times. We have a lot in common, apparently. All right, I'm using bark for his cute little arms, and I'm hoping this isn't going to dry on me too fast. It is kind of warm here in the shop. It was chilly last night. And so I cranked the little heater in here. And so I'm hoping this isn't going to dry too fast. I haven't resorted to the wood stove yet. But uh, I haven't got wood for the wood stove in here yet. So we did the little heater last night. I love this little tool. It is so awesome. It seems much more handier than the bigger one. So, who on here has been using Chuck Couture? Can I get a little hands up? Or a comment? If you've used it, if you're loving it. If, you if you're having problems, problems let, let me know and I can answer any questions, questions that way. I know my sister is a designer on here too, Christine. And uh, she's just been going gung-ho on this. She's been doing awesome. Me, on the other hand, I tend to um, procrastinate. And I really wanted to, it's like, okay, well, I'm not going to do the live if... If, if I don't have the internet working properly and blah, 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 blah. So there's an excuse every day with me. There is always an excuse. And I just haven't been going crazy. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Northern, Northern Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're kind of getting up towards us, but, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's chilly, it's chilly eh? It's, it's a beautiful time, time of the year, but chilly. chilly. But yeah, but yeah my, my sister, sister Christine, Christine there, she is just loving this stuff, now. apparently. She, she has made four beautiful pieces this week. This is the red shimmer. So it's a little bit of a grit to it. But it is gorgeous. And I'm like so impressed. The first one I tried it. I was like, like how is all that sparkles going to go through the, um, the, transfer? the transfer? Like, I didn't, I didn't think it would work as well. And, and it really does. It's, it's pretty stinking amazing. Ooh, I got a little air bubble there. I hope it works okay. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. I didn't realize I had an air bubble there. And we'll do a scarf as well. Sorry, I'm not looking at you as much. I'm busy looking down here. I probably should have just changed the screen over to just down there. I'm kind of scared to touch it, to be honest, though. Otherwise, um, I might lose this all again. And it's been a rough week for that, so let's not. I'm going back to my favorite little tool. I just like it so much better. So I just wiped it off on a baby wipe and just continue on. Now, now of course, this could have been done just in one simple color. Would have made a very quick, quick video, but I do want to hang this one up and have it for my own use. So I didn't want to just throw it together. Not that plain white on a black wouldn't have looked great. But I wanted the shimmer. All right. All right, I think, I think we're, we're good. good. Now, now hopefully, hopefully it hasn't dried while I've been talking and playing around. Hopefully I moved quickly enough. Let's see how it goes. The good news is it washes off and I can always do it again if it did. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, yep. See, so what has happened is it started to dry in there. It went a little slow. It's, it's not, not horrible. horrible. It, it is supposed to look distressed, distressed but my vares up there just isn't quite as pretty as I'd like. You see how it's just kind of, it's just not quite right. So, I'm going to see if I can fix this. I'm going to try. You can see how it just, it caked right in there. Ooh, and hopefully I'm not smudging now as I do this. I don't want to wipe it all off and try again, so I'm just going to try and wet this down and then fix it. I'm going to try a touch-up job, but I might not be able to. It looks like it's pretty dried in there. Shocks! So what I'd have to do in that case is I will have to... Um, Take, take the transfer, transfer off, off and wash it, it which, which you, you just do in cool water. water. Yeah, yeah, you can see how it's really, I don't know if you can see that, but it's really gunked into my screen. It needs to be soaked in cool water, just for a few minutes. It just activates all the paste again, and um, it pretty much cleans itself. Like, you just grab a baby wipe or a... Clorox wipe or one of the great um, sponges. They have um, their special sponge that's for cleaning the boards. I think they call it a board eraser. That might work actually. I'm almost scared to try it. Okay. Um, let's see how it goes. We're going to try. Uh, border races work really good, that's what I was saying. I'm concentrating too much on what I'm doing. And... Not 
as much as I probably should. So the reason I dry it is just when the transfer goes down, if it's not lined up perfectly, I don't want it, of course, to pull on it. And tear it all up again. All right, so what I'm worried about is not the rest of it, just basically the, if I line up the nose, then I know the theirs is going to be lined right up. And I'm not going to press down everywhere. I'm just going to press down around theirs. Just, just like, like that, that just to make sure, sure there's no air bubbles. bubbles. It's the, the only little space I'm working on right now anyways. I'm, I'm going to wipe off my favorite little squeegee. I need to buy like a couple more of these because I use them a lot and it would save time that I'm not wiping it off in between every use. Every color change. And I'm going to go back to white. Oh, you haven't used CC yet? Oh my gosh. Okay, you, are you a crafter? Do you like crafting? Do you like home decor? Do you, are you into this kind of stuff? Or are you someone that just likes to buy it already done? No mess, no fuss. And, but you like to watch it being made. <laughs> Not that I'm necessarily trying to sell you this. I'm just, there's all type of people in the world. Some people are crafty. And, and some, some people, people just like it already done for them. them. That's, That's what I've learned. I'm, I'm somebody, somebody that walks through home decor, decor shops and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that. But, but I, I can make that. that. And I might never, never get around to making that. that. I will take pictures of it in the store and, and I will be like, nope, I'm, I'm not paying 30 bucks for that. I can make that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's me. There we go. Looks, looks awesome. awesome. So, so, um, that's it. That's all. Woo! See, it is, it's so easy. And like I said, I'm going to take that transfer. I'm going to wash it. And I'm going to dry it and put it back on its backer sheet. And I'm going to be able to reuse that on other surfaces. Um, this is a chalk tour board. It comes already prepped. It's, it's ready to go. And, and there's nothing you have to do to it. You, you can put it on there if you wanted a year from now. You, you can wipe it all off. And you can put like your whatever you want to put on there again. So they're reusable that way. Um, so they're well worth the money. If you really loved what you put on it and you know you're going to want that forever. It's your kitchen decoration. You could also seal it. Um, it's, it's amazing, amazing stuff. Loving it. Um, this one I am going to leave because after Christmas, I'd probably wash it off and I will put, you know, my Valentine's or just my spring or whatever decor on it. Um, and the transfer is reusable so I can use them on other surfaces like I could do it on a board from just Home Depot, Home Hardware, wherever. Um, I could put it on glass. I can put it on so many things. Love, love, love the product. Um, and if you're not following on Shabby Chic Vintage Chic, please do. I'm um, getting better with the video stuff. Hopefully I will get this figured out very soon that it's just like, wham, bam, I am on. Um, but um, have patience with me. I'm only human. I'm learning. And if you'd like more info about Chalk Couture, please, please, please leave your name in the comments. Or you don't have to leave your name. It automatically comes up, right? Um, leave a little, um, I don't know, hashtag info. Something, something like, like that, that. And, and I will get, get info to you. use. Um, I'm hoping that you have a creative day. I am trying, but I know I want to work around more on this, uh, this stupid camera thing and actually get this working better. Like that. See, like that is perfect, but I need that other screen where it's showing my work to go bigger. I'm getting there. Anyways. Thanks for stopping in. Follow Shabby Chic Vintage Chick. If you're watching again on the replay, do a hashtag replay. If you're watching it on live, hashtag live. And if you want any information about how to try CC out Chalk Couture, um, or if you want to become a designer and sell the products and sell your own finished goods, just leave me a message. I don't want to nag you. I don't want to be like, hey, you watched my video. Uh, take this stuff. Um, Feel free, just watch, browse, laugh at me. That's it's great. 
Um, I'm here to entertain, apparently. And um, if you do want info, though, please message me and I will get back to you. And uh, I would love to have you join my team and sell products and all that fun stuff. But there is no pressure. Absolutely no pressure. If you just want to sit back, laugh, and have your morning coffee with me, that is great too. Anyways, I'm going to say goodbye. And I'm going to see if I can play around with these screens a little more and uh, get them working properly. And we'll possibly pop back on later today. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hoping Miss Maya is feeling better. She has some crafting that she wants to get done too. And yeah, we're, that's it. That's all. We're going to say goodbye, folks. Um, have a creative day. And thanks for watching. Bye.